all right what's going on youtube this is your boy taking another um strain of chases i gotta talk about this because this kind of proves my point in the last video i talked about this and this topic and like i said um young dude seriously like i said don't let pitfalls catch you in mess up messing up your bag and also please have integrity so we're going to respond to our preachers because fresh and Fred did a apology but they also dig themselves down deeper and they're just so stupid and one thing is i learned learn quickly peer pressure works worse on girls but works just as bad as guys because i think Myron pushed Walt, you know, because Myron's there, so Walter just had that bravado and wanted to step into, and you see what I'm talking about. It's just, it's just, it's just a total mess. I don't get why you you guys had to go do that, but you know, that's what you, that's what you guys went for. So let's just go ahead and get into it. The boys over at Fresh and Fit decided to yeah. stop screaming, period, and uh, posted something on their community page as an apology fresh and fit we apologize to our supporters from this point forward we are not going to engage in any beef we are here to help you guys navigate women fitness and finances not drama we're going to keep giving you guys the content you subscribe for we apologize for deviating but we are back on track men already get attacked enough in the space and we are not going to contribute to it Best of luck to have been preaching their future endeavors. See you guys tonight for a f You know what? Like I said, you know, you don't want, you men do get attacked a lot. And you don't want to apply a lot of stuff to, um, to, you know, with the drama and everything else. But you know what's weird about it? Like I said, what kind of apology is that? I'll let, let them say. Session fit after hours. What do you think about their apology? They apologize to their supporters. Exactly. He didn't apologize to me or my wife. From my country later that that was stupid you should have never that's dumb that, that at that time that's when you should apologize like i said in the last video which i'll put a link in the description so you get my point of this but it's just stupid that y'all did that man it's dumb you support us before you talk to the people who you really did apologize to but anyway that same evening real quick guys okay because uh i know this is probably on everyone's minds we already got six thousand plus live viewers so thank you so much for coming in. Only in four uh, minutes. Yeah, only yeah. <laughs> seriously, within four minutes. So guys. Yeah, because of the drama. Guys, we'll go talk about this real fast. <laughs> On this podcast, we talk about accountability. Okay. Yeah. And we are not above taking accountability. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, we made a mistake. Okay. It is not cool to insult a man's country and/or wife live on air. We should have kept the disagreement on the topic and not the people. Yep. Okay. Smart people discuss ideas. Stupid people discuss people. And we made a mistake. All right. So with that said, we apologize, okay, for talking about his wife, his country, and making ad hominem attacks on them. They're fellow YouTubers. If we have disagreements, we're going to have disagreements, but the way we went about it was not right, okay? Yeah. So we got to hold ourselves accountable as well. And from this point forward, we're bearing the hatchet. We wish the best to and preach. Yeah, the best, man. We're going to keep making content, giving you guys what you want, and we're going to stay away from the drama. That being said, the boxing, you got our number. Hit us up on the side. You know where we're at. We're in Miami, so let's do it. Yeah. You didn't even do that should have been your first apology that should have happened the day, the day after at, at, at the most because you guys shoot late at night i get that but that's what you should have been really um touting and really talking about but you didn't do that because not only that you guys doubled down before you did that apology which is messed up you do that you proposed a fight talk shit and this part right here, yeah, um, because it's just like, you know, again, it's the money problem. You young guys, stop this. Seriously. You use your money just like that. So, so you got to understand how careful you got to say certain things. Okay, look what y'all say. Not boxing for free. I'm going to propose $20,000 just to show up. Win or lose, just to show up. He's like not boxing for fee and 20 case peanuts. If you really care about this audience, about your audience, let us set up a live event. But I was, but I was scared. See that that that's not helping. 
that's not helping. That's that stupid mentality, that young mentality, because you think, oh, I'm in Miami, they're in Canada, they can't come and do nothing against us. You best, I'm not saying I'm a preacher, it's about that life, but the way you guys get bring on certain guys on there and stuff, you know, you get security in your show and everything. I've seen it, that, the back part of it, but you guys travel, you guys do stuff. You, you can't be doing what you're doing, man. You just can't. Yeah, bum, my story makes more sense to you because um, you live that fake life. Never will, uh, uh, I never will. It's fine though, the video dropping Wednesday. Let's set up the event, people could watch it live, but I was scared to talk about numbers. Again, fresh. You talk a lot of crap, man, dude. Why do that? But I'll be right about it because again, you hear what, I wanna hear what you hear what pre, uh, Abba says. Talk shit. Then when the person accepted, you're like, I'll bring $500,000. I offered you $20,000 to just show up. Win or lose, you were going to get paid. Hand you the check beforehand. And you still cowered up talking about, you know, we need to get promoters and all. These guys think everything is about money. It's not yeah. about money. And I'm going to say this to you guys. I don't play with violence. It's why you've never heard me and Preach come on here and say we would fight some people. You've never heard me and Preach go here, we would start some stuff. Because where we come from, we understand that's a real thing. You don't yeah. play with violence. You don't yep. threaten violence. You don't encourage it. It's not something you take willy nilly. Cause do it with the wrong people, and you'll get called for it. Y'all yep. were the ones talking crazy. About, I'll box any of these guys. I'll do it. I'll do it. And I'll be both y'all niggas up too. Dumb, dumb, if you really want to talk dumb, about that, God you guys want to fucking box? I'll box both you motherfuckers too. Fuck out of here, man. You guys were the one talking crazy, and that's how I know you guys are soft. This right here kind of hurts me a little bit. Walt, finding out his um, Fresh's full name and everything. I'm like, that's just disappointing. Y'all, stop talking that young man. Seriously. Y'all enters thirsty for views. No, they're not. We're gonna uh, set up promoters a date for tickets and the whole venue. What day can you both come for the fight? Both of us, no. I mean, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. Loft. You talked all that craziness trying to act out. Oh, hold me back. Hold me. Nobody's holding you back. Preach said he would take both of you guys because he feels some type of way. And you still got nothing to say. Hey, nope. and Preach, I guarantee. And this is the podcast before the apology. And then and, and, uh, while playing this, look at these women. This is the young, 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 young one. But look at these women. They're going to be uncomfortable because this is stupid. This is playing with fire, guys. I guarantee your, your wife is probably ugly. I said it. <laughs> yo, we you gave her a ring pop and you licked her at your fucking wedding. We should, we should fly her you up, bro. weirdo. Hey, yo, we look should fly her, her up. Guarantee her. <laughs> look at her. Food out. <laughs> you may kiss the bride, this dumb ass nigga. Look at her. She's drinking. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Just not right at all. Making them dumbass ways. <laughs> we fucking help guys make money. We help guys get in shape. We help men improve. What the fuck are Facts. you dumbass niggas doing? Show opinion, open other people's minds to different things, and also making sure that again, even though I know I, I've said before that I don't agree with them all the time, it gives you devil's advocate to figure out how to navigate through life and not do stupid crap like you're doing right now. Behind your shitty ass road shotgun, Mike. <laughs> Yo, chat. Put a warning in chat if you agree with us. Yo, real talk about that. Y'all niggas, I could tell you niggas stink from the fucking video I'm watching right now. Y'all be sweating in the fucking studio. <laughs> and y'all standing mad awkwardly Yo. close to each other, talking to that shitty ass mic. Hey, what's your take on this preach? I don't know. <laughs> the fuck, man? Got one niggas in the chat. Niggas sound chats. like Clifford, bro. Got yeah. one in the chat. Oh, God. Y'all don't want it with us. We will roast you guys. Yo, shout oh, out to the fan, by the way. You guys are too not young. as charismatic as us. Yeah. You guys repeated it multiple times when yep. you thought you were on top, right? Y'all got more views, right? So you better and all that stuff. When you got the more power, the perceived perception of that, you want to talk all crazy. And now all of a sudden, when you realize that power is not there, now you want to act a little bit humbled. It's too late now. You want to see someone's character, give them power, and then watch how they treat the less fortunate. And you can understand how they move. Y'all never see me talk to somebody with low subscribers like they're like they're trash or they're riffraff. Never. I've never done that. I do IG lives every day. Every day people show up and I have long conversations. I don't care. Because it's not about that. But these guys, you no. see what they're about. And now they yeah. want to charge $2,000 for courses, meet and greets, all this other nonsense. 
no disrespect to the roommates those guys hafif and them you guys do what you gotta do because they have something that i'm not i'm not hoping i'm not putting them out like that i'm not disrespecting them because i have respect for hafif and uh i forgot the other guy named for the roommates because i've loved, a lot, I watched a lot of the interviews and they're very good but Cole admiring my, uh, with fresh and fit two two thousand dollars if guys if you are learning from people two thousand dollars to be a man and it, that's a scam artist, in my opinion, because again, a lot of you guys don't have fathers, so you look up to these guys to like that. No, that's a scam. You should not look, do that. That's why I say, when you see me do videos about man, towards the man and stuff, like talking about guys and everything, for stuff, me, is I'm trying to tell you, that's why I say, I do not have to, um, how, how should I put it, say, again, I'm not gonna tell you to be the best version of yourself because I don't know you. I'm a guy behind a camera. I don't know you, they don't know you. They can say all they want. They don't know your circumstances. But I could, all I could tell you is to really navigate through the water of sharks to watch out for the pitfalls. Because I went through some of those pitfalls. So I would tell you what to avoid and make sure your brain figure out logical thinking like, oh wow, this situation is not good. Oh wow, this girl is not for me. Oh wow, where? let me not waste my money on crap. I'm doing this for free. I'm not doing this for no $2,000 or whatever. Heck, I could be putting um, my, my um, cash app in the, in, the, in the description if I wanted to see you guys, if you wanted to help donate and help 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 the stuff. Because on Temple FM, we get about, like I said, 10,000 to 15 um, to 20,000 people, you know, live sometimes. On a serious note, but I'm doing this because I just have a way of making that you guys need this information. And also, one of the projects where I'd like to show you all the stuff at the world topic, just to see, to get to help you get your brain, um, your brain in a critical thinking moment, because a lot of crit like America do not teach critical thinking no more. Serious talk. But that right there, nah, that's crazy. Y'all frauds. You're literally frauds. That's why I'm calling y'all faking frauds now. This, that, that's messed up. While they're lying and faking their whole lifestyle? Yeah. Nah. I got people in my DMs, other creators that maybe we handle this behind. Why would I handle it behind the scenes? And I respect this thing right here. What he's gonna bring up that that is tr this is truth right here. You think I want to have a one on one conversation with somebody who doesn't believe in the things that they're saying? You were loud about it. Why do I have to be private? Right about, you were loud exactly. about this, all of this. You were loud about me. You were loud about my wife. You were loud about my country. You were loud about bro boxing. I didn't bring this. You did. You exactly. were loud about it. You handled it public. Why would I do it in private? There you why? go. There you you go. brought that. There you go. You brought when you open your mouth. Go ahead. When you open your mouth, there's consequence to the open your mouth like that. That's what real men do. What did you say? You said I was forty. Exactly. Back in my day, you could open with that. You could open your mouth like that and say stuff like that to people because it might happen. You can't do that. In prison, you can't talk shit like that. If you talk shit about the guard, they're gonna ask you to do something about it. Now you were extra loud, extra, extra loud. You wanna talk loud and be extra, extra? Be real about it. There's always gonna be a motherfucker that's gonna be realer than you, always. True. True. Know that. Uh, he's right you wanna about do that. this? I was right here. I'm still here. You know what they said? Oh, I'm going to be here, here. You know what they said? They said, why would we do a two versus one? That doesn't make sense. No, I'm going to take one bitch and the other bitch. <laughs> you guys are two bitches. Twin sisters. That's your new name. Not fresh and fit. Twin sisters. Let's go. These guys turned, changed their tune once they saw subscribers going down. That's how you know they lack principle. They're so yeah. caught up in numbers. Yeah. They changed what they said. They deleted their videos. They that's how integrity you guys didn't have. You messed up, guys. You messed up. You should have never said what you said about the man's wife. I know the country thing is what people say at there. The man's wife. I'm not gonna. I'm not defending a country like that. Uh, I can't say it too like because it's American all the time. But, but by that don't bother me. I got more thicker thing than most people. But my point is, you said something about the man's wife. And then you double down. Then once you see your subscriber numbers going down and people's like, yo, yo, you F up. Because there's a part right there. There's another part that shows integrity. Because you guys are cowards. Preach look like a person who's straight up who could box whatever. But I went on, on your show and called you on your show. And you, you'll you see what I'm talking about. But it's because of the numbers. You got the numbers and then you got carbon the numbers. Now look what happened. 
Do I think you guys got a lot of them preach now with the attitude you guys did? No, no, I don't think so. Like you said in the other video. Deleted everything, right? Deleted Just everything. Just because they lost subscribers. Mm -hmm. You want to stand behind wow. a man? You want to call us out? Who only that. stands behind numbers? Yo, how long have we been at 1.38 for? The past three fucking months? Yeah. It is what it is. Who cares? We haven't it grown is, that much. It is what it is. Does it matter? Not really. It didn't matter when we had 300K. It didn't matter when we are 69K. Y'all notice the outro still says 69K because it's all the same. <laughs> that's, that's the worst part. Our outro. We never change the outro. Look at the fucking outro. It says 60 whatever now. You know what kills me? You know what kills me? People mad. Well, why would you make the video in the first place? Y'all ain't got nothing to say when we cover Skippy or any other individual and we go at it like that. Then it's these dudes. They invited you in their home. No, they begged us to come on a podcast with them. Don't get it twisted. We're got, not friends. I got the we receipts. We didn't text. I got the okay? receipts. And I hold everyone accountable. If you say something crazy online, I'm not going to call you in private, okay? Unless it's a private matter. They yeah. publicly said some stupid shit. So we said, let's dissect that stupid stuff. But now, because it's your hero. Oh, Abba or like Two-Faced. What's Two-Faced? I went on that podcast and I went right to Myron's face because he was exactly. talking crazy on another podcast. You know what I told him? Why were you saying that stuff? He started stuttering. I don't remember calling you blue pilled beta. Uh. Which is true. And, and they're going to put up the chat too. But they call them out. That's it. Right there. Right to their face. Specifically, you felt like we were kind of blue pilled, right? Uh, I don't remember. What, what show? What show was this one? I remember very, very well because that episode, I was very careful of what I said because it gets you watched it. That episode, I was very careful of what I said because it gets you watched it. So I, I just want to ask you about that. Why do you think I'm, I'm, I might be blue pilled? Um. Well, from what I remember, I'm trying. I'm, tr I'm trying to remember. I would say uh, blue. Like, hmm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Like, what? Which video was? It was the I'm, one. I'm, I'm trying to remember. I said I quoted it right to his face. Even even the goofy fresh boy. He was like, oh, Abba came with the smoke. I also find it funny What's up? that he came with the smoke. He came with the smoke, everybody said, because he's seeing what the chat's going on. The idea that I wouldn't come to people and confront them about- Finish them out. This is mad? their chat. This is hmm? their chat. They don't ever come out here chat. talking all this, this stuff. Is Just say you're chat. a fanboy and you can't help simp for them. I'm not mad at it. Everyone, when I was a kid, Batman was magic. Everyone's like, Superman's better. I'll, I said, I'll, you I'll all do you. Part. We got more videos of y'all we're going to react to. We're going to keep deconstructing the stupid shit y'all say. And if y'all want to stop watching, stop watching. I don't care. Tell us what you guys think. Do you guys agree with their apology? Disagree with us and the way we're handling it? We'll listen to everybody. I'll also be on IG in a little bit, so y'all can tell us what you You'll think. be on IG in a little bit? We can do that. Cool, I'll be, on, uh, I'll be in Miami next week. <laughs> they, ain't play, they ain't playing that. They are not playing that. You guys playing that messed up part. Not needed. And now the the subscriber is, is gonna go up. It's gonna go up. And I got I'm only doing this because of this part right here. You guys try to play alpha males, but this part right here, I gotta play because this Here's is your crazy. To learn at home and create a... This is crazy what you guys did. Don't talk about this. The airport within the next two. Uh, listen, I was about to go to the airport within the next two uh, thirty minutes. Okay, because putting all this behind us you know for the next couple days we're gonna take some days off go do some podcast guest appearances in different spots and then someone sends me a story a fresh prince ceo going to buy firearms for the first time look at this all right guys i'm here with my boy peter helping me with my first guns shout out to you man hey pleasure pleasure walter thank you hello everyone out there yeah, we here at American Security Consultants, we're experts in firearms training, situational awareness, defensive tactics. Are you serious? And you think you're an alpha male? You think you're fit to lead other men? Mm. There's two scenarios here. Maybe Fresh always really wanted a gun and this just happened to spring up and it was just appointment he set beforehand and whatever. But to post that on IG after, if I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, right? Maybe, maybe you're that fucking stupid. To post that on IG after you challenge a man to a fight, insult his wife, insult the Haitian community and the Haitians there, right? You're in Miami, you're an idiot. Yeah, that's true. That is hundred percent true. You're saying that to people down there and you're in a, in a, in a, you're in a community where that, that's, that is stupid, dude from Barbados. Yeah, that's dumb, dude. That's literally dumb. You then go and post stories after you start backing out and getting scared. You post stories about you buying firearms because he says, oh, we're going to go to the boxing match. We're going to do this legally. 
and you post that on IG. You post Let's your say moves. This is a scenario that really happened. See, and that's what I'm saying. You post your moves. That's stupid. Yeah, other people won't do that. You go ahead, but you see, that's what, again, why write a check you ass can't cash? Okay. That means you lack so much self awareness to look, realize how it's going to look optically. Yes. That you have no idea about anything relating to social cues. You don't understand no. how to communicate to people, how you're He's perceived. Awkward. That's basic one on one stuff. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how you're fit to teach other men. Not how not. to adjust and how to learn game on the fly. You don't even see how awkward and stupid you look. Or option two, which I think is what everyone else believes just like me. This man wrote a check that his ass can't check. Yes. And now, yeah. after he insults all this and does all this talking, he went out and bought firearms. Young man. And this is your king. This is the guy that you guys look up to to learn how to speak to women. This man can't speak to people. He doesn't no. understand how to communicate. How no. can you have game if you don't understand social cues? That's the part that killed me about the whole thing with game. Like, oh, you got to have game and stuff like that. Like I, like I said in my last video, I ain't had no game or nothing. I'm just me. I'm just confident in me. Nobody could, nobody could say anything about me. That's why I said nothing about my teeth and my skin. Because you know what? You ain't telling me something I don't know. I know this. So here you go. This is what you get. If you don't like it, move on. If you like it, let's talk. Let's talk. Again, that's just how I get most of the, 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 the females that I had in my life is because of my confidence. None of them could tell you that I was like waffling or whatever. Hell, even one of my fiance was like, oh, you intimidated at me. I said, T please tell me what I'm intimidated by. I'm intimidated by you. What, what, what I'm intimidated. The only person, the only female that's ever been intimidated was my grandmother and mother because I was young and, you know, they could whoop my butt. Other than that, I was intimidated by no female. None. That's what get most, if you're confident. Not cocky. There's a thin line between confidence and cocky. Don't be cocky. These guys was cocky when they, when they do talk about the numbers and the money and then just going off. And that comes off as brash and just stupid. Unintelligible um, talk that make people get in their feelings and they were in their feelings and they say stupid stuff and like like I was said they wrote a check that they can't cash uh, can, can I cash this no because you're full of crap he's a fraud yep and young men listen in the military you can have the highest rank you want okay we don't respect an officer just because they got the rank we'll do our job mm -hmm. but we don't believe in him respect Leadership, it's earned through leading by example. This is your man. You know why I said the emperor has no clothes? Because it's a story about two jesters who walk into a city naked, all right? And they concoct this plan to fool the whole city that they are emperors. emperors. So they get one guy and they get a couple other hobos to carry uh, a, a, some sort of dais and they carry them through town and everyone starts making way because it's like, oh my God, there's these guys on a dais. Look at them. The emperor's in town. We don't know from what country, but they look the part. And then someone points out, wait, the emperor has no clothes. You want to know why? Because an emperor would never walk around with no clothes. The same way a real man yes. would never go out and challenge someone to a boxing match, insult his integrity and his honor, and then say, yeah, let's box. And then when the man accepts, you go and buy guns and you dodge talking about money. Y'all are crazy. And this is not even to encourage violence. I don't want none of that, okay? Exactly. I'm about to start talking about That's crazy talk. Just uh, yeah. to let young men know on this platform, because just because they're older than you and they show a big game doesn't mean they're about that life. Exactly. Too many frauds out here. Mm -hmm. Too many frauds out here, right? I call it the blind leading the blind. Careful who you take advice from. Yeah. I made that mistake in the past, so this is my advice to you. Drop all these fucking goobers and just go look up some Patrice O'Neill. You'll thank me later. Oh my god Preach can't even be here Because we don't have enough time Unfortunately But best believe The reason why Preach Is not talking so much lately Is because he has nothing to say He has things he wants to do So yeah. consider me speaking on his behalf At least for today That is true I'm, I'm, um, Young man seriously This is why Oh The camera light went off Uh 
I get bad camera life. Sorry about that. But this is the reason why, like I said, like, like you see these young rappers, your Yachty's, your little this, and Takashi 69. All these guys are little punks. He, 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 like, Takashi 69 ain't about that life either, too. He could pretend. Can he kill you? Yes, he can kill you. But these young rappers, these young, they're just not about the life. They talk all that blasey blah, whatever. Man, I'm like, like I just said, I'm an older gentleman, yes. But you know what? I live, I live to this ripe old age of 38 because I know where to walk, how to maneuver through life. Did I have some people who try to do some horrible stuff to me? Yeah. But I, again, I didn't play that game with those guys. And like Preet said, Preet said it in, in, in that video. And if I lose, I'm going to take the two of y'all on. Because he knows it's not about that. You insulted him. So he's going to go and do what he got to do. You could have beat him up. You could have you could have been the winner. But you see, he didn't went on with all that blah blah talk on. Oh, oh yes, I'm feeling nice. Uh, I mean, I've been in the gym. I'm feeling hot right now. Yeah, you guys don't want none of this. Like you let my because you wanted to say something because Myron was saying something, Walter. That's wrong. You should never do that. That's why when I see guys say stupid stuff like that, that's that downfall of men. I've this, look. You want to know the downfall of men and women? Your weakness, your uh, men's weakness is their egos. Women's weakness is is um they don't have the they, they can't get attention. That's what it is. When a woman can't see she somebody else, she can't like, like walk in a room and get grab the attention, or whatever. They will do stupid stuff. Men, if somebody start talking about them and, they, and the egos can't get checked, they'll do stupid stuff. Women know how to manipulate. Now here's the thing: women know how to manipulate that stupid stuff. Men know a little bit how to manipulate. The, the attention stuff but women know how to manipulate the egos much more than men know to do the other other part so that's the part that that's the weakness and that's what you got you young guys didn't you know sorry man my thinking is just just is is kind of can't believe that you talk all that mess and then you're doing this right now I, I can't believe that myself. You talk all that mess. You back. I, I figured you guys were gonna back down, but I thought you'd apologize and be nice and just say, "Yo, we went too far and all that stuff." That should be the first thing you did. Then your supporters th and, and the, uh, the beef. The beef might have been squashed right there. But now, nah, man, you played the games. You were Icarus. You with your wax wings. You flew too close, too close to the sun. They told you don't fly towards the sun, but no. So yeah. I'm seriously, young men do not. Like I said they help people in in regards. Yes, they do, but do not pay for their course. Do not do not pay for nobody's courses to be a man and all that nonsense. You want to know how to be a man? Simple. Have integrity. Back up your words with your bond. Have integrity. Have res you know have respectability that people will respect you and they, they could, and you gain gain respect because remember, respect is not given. You have to be gained. So have respect in your in, in game that. Have humility that if you mess up or something goes wrong, you can be like, wow, I made a mistake. Yo, bro, sorry, whatever. Guys do that way better than women. Because again, men are a-holes. <clears throat> men are assholes. Women are vindictive. Women will go to the ends of the world to, to, to come back and do super, some crazy revenge on men and women. They don't care. That's the difference between us. That's one of the differences between us. But again, have, have those things right there. And again, Work on yourself. Fresh, uh, Martin is right. Make sure you stay in a good weight. Make sure you eat as best as you can. Eat the right food as best as you can. Work on scales to get to um you know do it yourself. Work for you. That's why I always say, do you take yourself, then your family and whatever. Because if you and people are like oh some people say like, oh well well you gotta protect your family and all that nonsense. No. The reason I say protect yourself, because if, say, if you, the family depends on you and you're working yourself to the bone, whatever, you get sick or whatever, run to the family. You're dead and gone and you're sick and they can't do nothing. No, protect yourself first, then your family, then your neighbors, then your community. There's a reason why when you fly the plane, they, they tell you about a mask. You put a mask on first and then you put a mask on the child because if you can't, if, if for some reason you get knocked out, then the child can't get whatever. Like, it's just best way to do that is that. Okay? And I don't like to see this Caribbean beef thing that's going on, man. I said, Walter, you should have known better. 
being a youth from the Caribbean to make a joke like that. That was that was that was that was stupid again too. So you had your stupidity and challenge your man, and now you want to back out of it. Marin, you're stupid because you got into your feelings, and you 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 did the hypocrisy of what you ain't supposed to do, which you did, <clears throat> and then you insult the man's wife. Just just, just not call for. Keep the topics, guys. When you argue with people, keep the topics within the topics. Now, when we're talking about politicians and stuff like you see my project open mic stuff, I don't care about that. That's politicians. They they are open to a lot of ridicule and stuff like that. But this regard right here, nah, man, that was that was unfair to bring somebody in outside an argument that didn't have nothing to do with the argument. And now you are gonna get weapons and stuff like that, talking that talk, and then now you will get 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 a uh, handgun. I'm hoping like obviously I give you the benefit of the doubt. I really do. Hope that you was gonna do that to show people, hey, whatever. But huh, seriously, on a on a, on a note like this, is like apologize. Show uh, Walter, have the fight. If you get knocked out, you get knocked out. If you use a TKO, you get TKO. If you whatever, have the fight. You ain't no way out of this now. You can't walk away out of this. You, if you want to keep your manhood and your integrity, you, you're the one who challenged um, challenge, and he accepted. Have the fight, and after that, show videos of good gun management. So, it, so that gun video part does a back bite you in the butt, bite you in the butt as well. That's the best we could do. And Myron, check that attitude, bro. You sound and act like the females you don't want to be around. Stop it. Check it, man. You you made it. You made a project. You work hard. Whatever. That's 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 something I I give you respect for. Make your money. Any any black person out there, anybody out there, make their money legally. I have no problem with. And anybody out there who make their money for real, including a black person and 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 is not doing bad things with it, I respect that. And you want to show people how to make certain monies and everything. I respect that too. But. This right here messes, messes you guys' integrity and, and, um, and just, I don't know, young guys. I mean, be careful who you follow, like I was just said. I said, me, I'm not trying to, again, I, I'll say it one more time. I'm not trying to teach you to be the best of you because I don't know your situation. I don't know you. I don't know you. I'm just telling you, again, I could tell you traps to, to look out for from women, from men, from all kind of nonsense, to critical think when the media starts saying all kind of stuff. That's why I do Project Open Mic. That's why I did it, to, to, so you guys could see and critical think and see all that stuff because the media ain't gonna tell you the truth majority of the times, everything is a spin. And again, look at what happened when I said, like again, if I was in that room and that was my job, I was gonna lose the job and be fired, I would've been like, nah, cause as soon as Myron said that, I'd be like, whoa, whoa, yo. Yo, bro, sorry, that, that, that's wrong, don't do that, man. Apologize to the man's wife, and he gonna be like, he, he since he was so hot, he like, yo, get the f out of here, and blah 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 blah. I like, you know, what? I'm all right, all right, I go. What you did though was wrong. What you did though was wrong. Be careful of peer, peer, group pressure, peer pressure. That's what social media has done. There's a lot of people back in the day. I've said this before. I'm probably, I'm probably remember. back in the day when I was growing up. People had diaries. People, people used to be mortified if the people open up their diaries and be like, you kept it to yourself, secret. People would be mortified if, oh man, they found out about my deepest, darkest secrets on my, uh, on, on my diary. Yeah. <laughs> but now, we, we go, everybody's going for cloud chain. That's what I said. That's why I'm not on social media as much. As, as, as People say, oh, you need to be there so you can promote your stuff more. You, like your YouTube channel. You, you always got 24 subscribers. You need to do more, more, more. That's why I have different, you know, different, like I say, um, you know, you, um, Twitch, uh, Facebook, Temporary FM, Radio T3. Like, I have different revenues to broadcast this stuff to. But I just don't like, I, I just don't need to put all my information out there. It's not needed. Why should I? I'm a private person. This is my public persona, and I talk about this, but I don't, I put out what I think is, is, is knowledgeable needed to be talked about in that regard. So like I'm in priest said, yeah, you had they're not gonna handle it private because you talk it public. I respect them for saying that too. That's the same thing as well too. Now again, I have a tougher skin that stuff like that would never mess with me. But again, to me, you could do that. But again, you don't know who you insult because some people go crazy if you just say something about their mamas, or you step on their shoes, they kill it, they stab you. 
that cloud chasing on the, on the online is not worth all this headache, guys. But sorry. Again, because I just saw that video right there, like, you already lost my respect. But now it's just like, I don't even know. Like, I can't say I can watch podcasts for you guys no more. But we'll see what happens out of this, man. And please, young man, let it be a learning uh, moment. So let make sure you stop, don't run your mouth to get you again. Don't write a check that your ass can cash. Okay? That's the important. That's why that saying has been around for a And that's where these guys put themselves into that. Other than that, let's see what happens out of that. Okay? Remember, people are stupid. Individual smart. Please be that smart individual and wise up and do your own thing. This is it safe for Project Morgan Straight No Chasers? Peace out.